Hey, what's up? Welcome to Marketing by John. Listen, the biggest app of 2020 was TikTok, but the biggest app of 2021 will most likely be Clubhouse. At least the hot app of the year is going to be Clubhouse. Now, Clubhouse, if you haven't heard of it, I'm going to tell you what it is, uh, why it's valuable, how to use it, and what to look out for. So first of all, what it is, Clubhouse is an audio-only app where you can listen to people or discuss topics in real time. So you can't record and post your audio like you can in a podcast. It's only live. So you enter the room uh, and you can listen to people t discussing in real time. You can search your rooms based on topic and there's every topic you could possibly imagine. Uh, each room has you know a title and a topic or a category, so to speak. And you can listen to who who uh, people who are known as the moderators and the moderators are the ones who either start the room or the ones that are um, up on stage they call it right so there might be two moderators there might be 30 moderators and they're the ones that can turn their mic on and off and discuss and then you have people who are in the audience and they're the ones that are just listening they can't talk um, the moderators can allow people to raise their hands or not and then they can select those people to talk so it's really cool so picture um, being at a large event with a panel up on stage who are discussing topics and they can pick on people in the audience or they can just let them listen. But instead of being physically at the audience where you can see, you can hear only. So it's an amazing app simply because it's passive and you can be a fly on the wall. Two things that are really needed uh, in the social media space. It doesn't really exist. Um, and there's currently big, huge celebrities and influencers on there. So it's going to grow really, really rapidly. Okay. So why is it valuable? Okay. So obviously besides the consumer side of why it's valuable as a personal brand, it is valuable because you can be the leader of a room. You can start a room and be a moderator and you can invite people in based on, um, you can invite people into the room. Or you can invite them to be a moderator based on trying to connect with, uh, people and, and discuss a particular topic. So it's not just valuable for marketing, but it's actually valuable just to connect with people. So if you have people that live around the world or across the world, or you have people that um, live across the country from you, and you want to talk to them in real time, sort of just passively, you just open up the app, you invite them, and you can chat about whatever you want. You can make the room completely private. You can make it so that people can listen only, or you can open it up to public where people can be on stage or not on stage. So you have options here. So it's valuable for networking. That is the single biggest value right now. If you are looking to grow your brand or your business, the best place to get access to people who you might want to network with is currently on Clubhouse. It goes way beyond just simply DMing them on Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn. You can now be in the same room, listen to them, then go over, DM them on a platform and say, hey, I was listening to you in Clubhouse crushing it. You're so helpful. You know what? And then whatever your pitch is to them. So networking currently is the best uh, uh, feature of Clubhouse from a business perspective. Okay. So how to use it? So when you get into Clubhouse, uh, you'll see suggested rooms. You can explore. There's a little button where you can explore and, and explore topics. Also, when you set up your Clubhouse account, you tell Clubhouse what you're interested in. Uh, so if you're exploring, you can explore topics, you can scroll through your feed of suggested rooms, and you simply just click on that room and boom, you're into it. All of a sudden, you'll start hearing people discussing whatever the topic is. Again, you can't fast forward, can't rewind, so you're just going to drop in as a fly on the wall. Now, if it's an open room and they have hand uh, raising capabilities available, if you uh, if you want to ask a question, if they're if they're taking questions for for answers or they're asking questions, you can raise your hand um, and uh, let that person in to speak. Uh, just the other day, we were doing some some Q and A on our event, No Bull uh, Con, No Bull Business Conference, and brought some people in to give us some feedback on some ideas. We just you just uh, uh, they clicked raise their hand. We let them in the stage, asked them a question, they answered, and then you know put them back in the audience after that, so that they they couldn't talk and it was only one at a time. Um, and you can mute your mic uh, if you're a moderator, but you don't want to be actively 
um, you know, you got background noise or kids in the background or something like that. So, so you have options to basically put yourself on stage, mute your mic, um, talk, speak. Uh, so you, you, you do want to be careful of a few things. So that's basically how you use it. Very simple app. Uh, you're either listening to great content that you want to, or you're talking about great content that you want to. And there's a huge opportunity to li- deliver value if you have an audience, um, particularly useful in the, um, you know, entrepreneurship space, you know, mentoring space, things like that. And becoming a thought leader is the best way to grow your brand. This is a great way to do that. So what to look out for? So I just got done listening. I was I was in a room, a relatively large room with like 800 people in there. Uh, there were probably 30 moderators and the room was started to help people out, help people learn social media, uh, help uh, what started as moms and single moms learn how to use social media to grow their business. And unfortunately, it got into the position where there was people talking over each other and um, there was a lot of negativity going on and uh, a lot of criticism going on. And um, the, the energy in the room got really bad, I think, because they let too many moderators on and some moderators that they didn't sort of vet ahead of time uh, about what, how they were going to handle themselves. And the leader of the room, these are big name celebrities and influencers that are on there too, that were moderators, all sort of arguing with each other a bit uh, and getting into a negative space. And the uh, owner of the room came on actually crying. And she said, listen, I can't believe this just happened with my room. Um, This is not what I intended And, you know, that pretty much set everybody straight, removed a bunch of moderators off the stage and hopefully reset the room. I don't know. I just checked out. Uh, But you want to be careful that if you're trying to build a big room, um, that you're bringing on moderators and people that you have vetted and you understand what they're going to say and what they're going to talk about. Um, And you you need to moderate your own room in in efforts to moderate your own brand. You don't want to be known as the person who's starting a room with um, bad vibes and bad people. So that's that's one of the early uh, sort of things that I noticed in actually several rooms is that people are trying to hack the system by um, by letting in more moderators to hack the algorithm to get, you know, their profiles shown more and to get more visibility on their profiles. Uh, So you just want to be careful. Uh, Don't hack the algorithm so much that your brand is being associated with a lot of negativity in negative rooms. Uh, and just remember that this app is uh, is unfiltered. It is completely unfiltered. You know, there's no censoring or anything going on. And so depending on the room that you get into or go into, you could hear things that you don't want to hear. So just understand that this is unfiltered. It's live. It's real time. It's a huge opportunity to grow your personal brand and to network with people in the business uh, space. Uh, entrepreneurship, marketing, business, all of that kind of space, everything else, sports, literally whatever it is you're interested in is going to be on there. But just be careful and understand that it's real time. uh, And if you're going to start your own room, make sure you're smart about how you moderate it. So hopefully this was helpful as a general overview of what the the Clubhouse app is, because you're going to be hearing a shitload about it. Um, And hopefully this provides you with a little bit of insight as to why it's valuable, what to look out for. But hopefully I'll see you over on Clubhouse. So come follow me, Clubhouse. Just search John Timmerman, all one word, John Timmerman, uh, and uh, would love to chat with you over on Clubhouse. See you there.